everybody welcome back to my channel knowledge universe today uh, in this uh, new video i try uh, to teach you another important important data structure this video is about uh, another non primitive data structure especially tuples welcome to my channel and i'll start now my tutorial Generally, data, stru data structures can be divided into two categories in computer science. Primitive, for example, integer, float, string, boolean. And non-primitive data structure. The former are the simplest forms of representing data, whereas the latter are more advanced. For example, array, list, tuple, dictionary, set, file. Uh, they contain uh, the primitive data structures with the more uh, complex data for special purpose. In this uh, series of video about data structure, I teach you in the first video what is uh, array structure. In the second video, I teach you what is uh, list structure today i try to teach you what is tuple a pattern tuple is a collection which is ordered and interchangeable in python tuple tuples are writing with round brackets but the difference between tuples and lists are the tuples cannot be changed and like lists are our uh, lists and uh, tuples use uh, parentheses, uh, whereas lists use square brackets. Now I try to give you an example how you can use uh, uh, tuples in Python. Now I uh, try to teach you how you can use uh, tuples. So if you want to create a tuple with uh, Python, uh, you give a uh, first name, for example, uh, name is a student student so I use uh, around uh, brackets so here uh, I use the uh, round brackets now I uh, add uh, my uh, values for example the first value is uh, um, is uh, John I give it just here some uh, names the second is uh, Peter and the uh, child value is uh, for example Ali so here uh, I have um, I have a tuple with uh, three values so if I want um, to to print my uh, tuple I use the function print uh, uh, so uh, my uh, tuple name is uh, students and I put the name here. So here the difference between uh, between the tuple and list. In uh, lists we use um, uh, square brackets, and in uh, tuples we use uh, round uh, brackets. So I uh, test this uh, line or this code. I save and I test. So this is my first tuple. We can uh, access tuple uh, items by referring uh, to the index number uh, inside the square brackets. Uh, for example, here, the index of John is a zero, the index of Peter is one, and the index of Ali is two. For example, if I want just uh, printing uh, John and uh, Peter, I use, uh, uh, I use the index of John and Peter. So I uh, print, print, uh, students, excuse me, students, uh, between two square brackets, so here the index is zero, so from zero to, to two, so when I print, 
the result is John and Peter. So we hear uh, the number two is uh, excluded. So uh, Python prints just the index, the value of the index zero and the value of the index one, but the index two is excluded. Now I can uh, use uh, also negative indexing. And the negative indexing means beginning from the end. Uh, minus one refers uh, to the last item. Minus two refers to the second last item. So for example here, the last, uh, the index of Ali uh, is minus one. Uh, the index of Peter is minus two. And the index of John is uh, uh, minus three. For example, if I want to just uh, print in picture and uh, array, I, I use, uh, I, can, I can use a negative uh, index, uh, print uh, students, students. So I want just printing picture, uh, picture and, um, and uh, array of, or uh, just a uh, picture. So I use here minus, uh, minus two and minus one here i can just uh, print in picture so i uh, test uh, this uh, code so here i uh, the the python prints just picture because um, this example returns the items from the index uh, minus two uh, included to the index uh, minus one excluded so uh, for example here if I want to uh, print uh, John and uh, Peter, so I change minus uh, two by minus three, and now I can uh, print John and uh, Peter. So I uh, try uh, to test this example. So here, John and uh, Peter. So in this example, um, Python returns the items for the end for index minus three included. <coughs> to the index uh, minus one excluded. Once uh, our uh, tuple is created, you cannot uh, add the items to it. Uh, tuples are interchangeable. For example, if I want to add, the, for example, uh, Joseph, if, uh, for example, I uh, want to put in the uh, the, the index for uh, uh, this is the index zero and here the index one and the index uh, two. If I want to put in the index three, for example, Joseph, I can't because the tuples are interchangeable. So I try um, to do that. So uh, students, uh, students. Uh, for example, uh, three, and I want to add the Joseph to my uh, in my uh, chapel, uh, Joseph. So when I print uh, now, uh, students, when I print, this will uh, raise error. So uh, I print now. So, tuple object does not support item. So, uh, this is uh, one of difference between list and uh, tuples. So, in uh, tuples, you can uh, you can't you can't change uh, tuples, and you can't uh, you cannot uh, add items to it. So, uh, you can join uh, two or more tuples uh, by using the, the plus operator. Uh, for example, here I created the, the, my uh, second uh, tuple. Uh, the name of this uh, tuple is student tuple. And I, um, I uh, add the two values. Uh, for example, here uh, Joseph and uh, Leila. Now, if I want to concatenate or to join uh, my first tuple with the second tuple, I use uh, the operator plus. So my new tuple uh, equal to students plus students tuple. When I print, now I give a new, this is my, uh, my new tuples uh, by using uh, or by joining two, two tuples. Now uh, I can uh, also print uh, the length of uh, the first. So the length here is three. 
the length of this tuple is two, and the length of the last tuple is is five. So print when I want to print the length of my tuple is the function len. So len the first is a student. The second is a length of the the second is a, a student tuple is a two. So if I want to print the length of my tuples uh, and uh, print the length of uh, I use the function length to print uh, to print uh, the length of the last tuples uh, the name of my last tuple is my new tuple so here now I test this uh, lines so here the first is three because I have uh, three values the second is two because I have uh, two values and the last uh, five because here I have when I join uh, the the first and the second tuples I have now four uh, five values uh, tuples uh, are unchangeable, so you cannot remove items from it, but you can delete the tuple completely. The, so, for example, you can use the function del to delete uh, uh, completely my uh, second tuple. Now, uh, you can uh, loop uh, trap the tuple uh, items by using a for loop. Uh, for example, I uh, can trap my... Um, uh, I can loop uh, trap my uh, first uh, tuple. So, I use the, the loop, uh, the for loop. For uh, x in uh, the name of my first tuple is uh, students. So, students. Uh, excuse me, students. Uh, so uh, print for x. So, so print x. So now I can uh, print all uh, values. So here uh, my uh, uh, values is John, Peter. And Ali. So we, you can uh, loop throughout the tuple by using a loop uh, for loop. Finish uh, this uh, tutorial by uh, presenting uh, some uh, example uh, of uh, tuple uh, methods. Uh, Python has two built in methods that you can uh, use on uh, tuples. For example, you can use the function or the method count uh, to return the number of times. A specific value occurs in a tuple. For example, uh, also you can use the index uh, methods to search the tuple for a specific value and returns the position uh, of where it was found. You can uh, search by internet uh, to learn uh, more methods. Thank you for watching this video about Python for data science course. Especially, especially data structure. In the next video, I try to teach you another important non primitive data structure. It's about Python dictionary. Don't forget to comment, to subscribe, and like, and goodbye.